what's up YouTube it's Torhan here bringing you another uh, Minecraft survival let's play and currently we're going to the nether I've actually already been doing a lot of work out here I'm just clearing out a space for us to build our fortress as you can see and I also added a little defense so if the zombie pigmen decide to come over here they will die just like me for doing that frack that's why the edges here are okay but in order to get out you're kinda in trouble so yeah it's just kinda my little defense against the uh, zombie pigman apocalypse it's kind of uh... I don't know. They may not even go in, run into it, but hey, I figured it'd be fun just to put on there. So, we're going to grab some supplies. And... I know zombie pigmen don't really actually attack you. It's more just to keep them from bugging me. I was busy too. I went and did a whole bunch of mining. I destroyed a couple more nether fortress towers. Because um, I, I found three nether fortresses here. And so I've been able to kind of utilize those materials. So, we're going to start building. What I'm going to do here is get the basic outline together and then I'm going to work on it off camera and then come back to you guys when we've finished it. And that right there is going to be where the railroad from the second floor hits. Oh no you ain't. Where you at? No hurdy to Torhan. I dare you to show your face. Bring it. Yeah, that's what I thought. You hide somewhere. But yeah, you guys. So I'm going to work on this. Get the basic outline for you guys. And this is just going to kind of be like the very first part of our our fortress we're going to build here I want to get the soul sand planted or the soul sand in place so we can plant the um, the nether wart and get that going. So what I was thinking is one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that was it. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then this will stay. Oh, I didn't bring any with me. I'll fix that in a minute then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, one too many. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. So we'll make it seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was right, it can be eight. So yeah, I have a good idea what I want to do in my head. Right now it's just a matter of getting it actually into the game. But first and foremost, we got to get this stuff planted. So it'll start growing while we're down here. Yes, 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 I'll pick you up in a minute. Got a little soul sand. Do be do be do. Watch out for the penguins. I remember this commercial forever ago of a penguin and a beer. And all you heard the penguin doing was going do be do be do. And it's always amused me. Alright, pick those back up. There we go. And it still does to this day, and I heard that back when I was in Oh gosh, high school? Forever ago now? But yeah. I think we just celebrated our 10 year high school reunion recently. Are they? Yeah. So there we go. Oh no you don't! Attacking my stuff, you will die. Come on. Punk? Freaking gas. Oh, hey, look. Oh, I can't pick it up, really? Um. Let's drink a potion of speed. Toss the bottle. Pick up the gunpowder. Yay! For gunpowder. Not like I don't have enough of this, anyways, but still. Right. Actually, we may just drop this in the chest real quick. So we got a gas tube for potion making, which makes me happy. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this for now. So I was thinking of accenting the... Ah, uh, really? Alright, I actually think I might make actually make the floor out of nether brick. Cause I really don't want to have to deal with the ghast. Cause look at this. Gas burn stuff. I hate gas. So annoying. Oh, and a little lag. And we'll have to use some glowstone to light up the place a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. 
Oh, don't you dare. Where are you at? You are not gonna hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you. <sighs> Thank goodness they can't kill my obsidian portal. Though I think they can knock it out. Which is why I do have in one of my bad things over there, a lighter. Otherwise, we'd be in trouble. Alright. So what I'm going to do, you guys, is... Actually, I'll finish this bit. So we're going to make this. The first floor is going to be as tall as the portal. Fail place. So this one's going to be as tall as the portal. For starters. Alright. And so then what we're going to do is this is going to be basically the bottom floor where we do all of our nether wart farming. And then this is going to be a nice archway, I think. So I'm going to put windows along this side and that side, but these two sides here, since they're pretty much facing walls, are going to just be stone. I don't really think there's a point to being able to look out. I mean, there's really no point to have windows on this side. Sure, it'll look the same, but you know, I'm, I really don't think staring at the uh, nether rack would be all that interesting. Okay, so we'll put windows on this side. And then we'll put windows here. We'll put windows along this side. And then up, we're going to do one more floor up top, which will have the train station that comes in, and it'll have chests up there for storage and stuff as well. And that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut you guys. Um, I'm going to take care of and build this, and then I'll come back to you guys when I finish it. So I'll be back in just a bit. And I'm back, you guys, and this is the final result. We have the uh, nether wart farm producing quite effectively. I think I get about 80 or so per grouping. So 80 from here, 80 something from there, and then from there. So I'm getting about 240 nether wart a harvest. Um, up here we have our treasure room with half slabs to prevent spawning, of course. And then up here... We have a lovely pigman, a couple of them, and this is this is our mushroom farm. Let's piss off the pigman. Yay, pigmen are dead. 
I think there's one more down here, though. Yep. And he's dead now, too. Except for that's going to make these guys out here a little unhappy with us. But that's the next thing I want to show you. I've actually created a little type of a pigman farm. It's been entertaining. If they chase me, and they fall down there, they die. But here... We have it set up where they can fall in there after I attack them. And it's been pretty effective, actually. I've been using it to, uh, to farm the pigmen. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, come on. Don't die. Haha. Uh -huh. Gotta love those health potions. Cool. We got a golden helmet, a golden sword. Nice. Come away with some pretty good loot there. Lock those doors back. But so what I do basically is I find a group of them. I'll hit one of them and run from the rest. Like this. And they'll of course chase me and fall in there. And I get I get like, you know, as many as I can get without getting myself killed. And then I use potion, I use a splash potion of healing to kill him. And it's gotten me quite a few levels, and it's been doing some pretty good damage to these guys. So it's worked out pretty well. I've been getting quite a bit of uh, gold nuggets that I can convert to gold bars. To use with... Um, I can use the gold bars to create, uh, what are they, powered rails for the cart system I want to set up soon. So, so far I'm pretty happy with the results. It's actually working out pretty well. The only thing I need to do is consider getting rid of the mushroom farm up top and just putting half slabs to keep them from spawning. Because that is my only problem is I get them to spawn up here every now and then. But I do like the ability to have mushrooms grow. So it's it's a give and take. I don't know. I, I have to figure out what I want to do still. But otherwise, that's kind of the nether base that I created. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what we're going to work on next is probably go explore the ravine with the... Explore the ravine and the uh, abandoned mine shaft. But as you can see, I put a little design in the ceiling with some glowstone and some sandstone and then I used the stairs to give this a little bit more more of a look so it wasn't just so boring and that's basically how we got that to look that way and I, I like how it turned out I think it looks pretty cool and uh, I really like I like it so far and it's it's netted me a, quite a few um, Another word. And this is where the train track is going to come in. So the track will lay down here. And it will go out. And then this block won't be here, of course. And it will go down. Oh, no, you don't. Where is it at? Where are you hiding at? I 
don't see it. Could be above me too. Or blue. I hear it, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. Maybe he can see me through the wall or something. Who knows? Yeah, so the next thing we're going to do is explore the uh, that mine, the abandoned mine shaft and that ravine that we ran into in the previous video. But I'm I'm happy with the way that the, uh, the nether base turned out. I'm really excited. Uh, I want to do a blaze farm soon. And so that's going to take a little bit of work. Uh, but the blaze farm will come next. We're going to do the blaze farm, I think, um, after we do a little more exploring in this world. Oh, and I did add some stairs to these, so instead of having to jump to go up, it's easier. And I flattened it out a great deal up here. So it just looks a little better. Because I still want to add a little courtyard thing up here, too. But, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, I hope everybody has enjoyed the video so far. Or, well, enjoyed the series. I'm going to end the video here. But, yeah, you guys. So that's kind of where we're at with things. Uh, the nether base turned out well. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is explore a little bit more. And then after we explore, we're either going to do a nether. We're either going to work on the, uh, work in the nether and do some blaze farming. Or we're going to... I'm going to work on the castle, so... I will show you guys the progress I make on the castle here soon. Um, I'm actually going to go work on the lake and building the island that the main castle is going to be on. Because that's going to take a lot of work. Uh, the towers, I'm not too concerned about those. The towers will be pretty easy. I mean, these weren't that difficult and they're going to be similar to those. Uh, the hardest thing about that is going to be making the island look right. And then beyond that, it's going to be making it big enough for the castle and getting the lake beneath it finished. So next we're going to do some exploring and then I'll show you some videos of the castle and it being worked on. So anyways you guys, thanks for watching. I hope everybody's having a great day and I'll talk to everybody later. Peace.